We've come a long way over the past decade when it comes to fiber used in AV and IoT applications. There are a lot of choices out there, and if you're new to the fiber realm, it may seem overwhelming which way to go or even figure out what kind of fiber connector you're looking at. In this multi-part series, we'll review fiber modes, connector types, and cable jacket options. Here in part one, we'll talk about the two modes in fiber you'll hear of most often, multi-mode and single mode. The primary difference between them is the size of the fiber itself, which directly translates into wavelength, bandwidth, and the transmission distance each supports. Single mode, which handles a very small wavelength, is designed to go many miles, where multi-mode, which handles a very large wavelength, is typically used in LAN enterprise and data center applications that don't need extension further than around 2,000 feet. This doesn't mean you can't use single mode in short distance applications. If buying a fiber extender or media converter, be sure to check its specifications so you purchase the right fiber cable mode to go with it. What's nice is that if you're working with a system that was set up by someone else, installed and fiber patch cables are often color coded, so it's easy to figure out what may be in place. Single mode fiber is typically yellow, while armored fiber or tactical grade cables may not be. Single mode is the bandwidth leader in fiber. OS2 single mode fiber can transport 100 gigs of data anywhere from 6 to 24 miles, depending on the transceiver used. Multimode is currently widely available in four types. Each is color coded to represent its type and thus the bandwidth each can carry. OM1 and OM2 multimode are both jacketed in orange. Each supports one gigabit data rates. OM1 has 62.5 micron core or diameter size and is typically capped at 300 meter distances. OM2 features a 50 micron core and travels up to 600 meters. So if they are both orange, how will you know the difference? A decent quality cable will be marked OM1 or OM2 on the jacket. Because of their core size being different, it's not recommended to interchange them. OM3 is an aqua colored fiber cable with a data rate of 10 gigabits. OM3 supports 300 meter distances. It is able to carry 40 gigabit signals or even 100 gigabit up to 100 meters when utilizing what is known as an MPO connector. See part two on this series on connector types. OM4 is purple with distance capabilities up to 550 meters. OM4 is able to run 100 gigabits up to 150 meters using an MPO connector. A footnote on OM3 and OM4. Both utilize lasers as a light source in order to support 10 gig, 40 gig, and 100 gig ethernet. OM5 with a lime green jacket is an emerging fiber type which utilizes wavelengths ranging between 850 and 935 nanometers. It is evolved because of SWDM, which stands for Short Wavelength Division Multiplexing. Employing SWDM technology with OM5 fiber you can transmit multiple 40 gigabit and 100 gigabit signals across a single fiber. Now you may be wondering, are multi-mode fiber cables backwards compatible? In short, not really. Plus, the cost between the various fiber cables on the market are negligible, so it's best to stick with the system you have or the specifications of the transmission. Remember, we are just covering the basics here. If you need more in-depth information, please contact a Markertech sales engineer and we'll be happy to get you what you need. Join us for part two in our Fiber Basics series as we cover the common connector types and how they are used.